It's our final episode of the season and we're counting down our top 10 innovations. Let's continue the countdown with our judges number seven pick, Emotional Pulse. Since the whole world has been embroiled in this global pandemic, I've noticed offshoots of mental health apps online everywhere and this is yet another example of that which is a great reminder that we're all here together working together to support each other i'm just taking my pulse and thankfully the old ticker seems to be thumping away but what about up here how does one assess their mental state how do you take your emotional pulse well thankfully a young australian innovator has found a way Steve, how did you come up with this incredible idea? Well, I mean, mental health is a huge problem for everyone and it's touched everyone in Australia. And I've lost friends myself to suicide and it's on the rise. And during COVID-19, what we noticed were good leaders that were connected to their people had lost their ability to read the emotional pulse of their team and understand the, the mental health state of what was actually going on. So. Emotional Pulse was born during this time to help them connect. And sort of like taking your radial pulse, now you've put your emotional pulse also in your hand. Exactly. But not only that, when people are in a state of distress, they can reach out for support at that critical time of need. Kevin, I must ask you, what happens though if someone does press anxious or even depressed? What happens? Let's say if I was feeling a bit depressed, I would tap on depressed and went, update my emotion and what it apps would ask me now is you know would you like to contact someone so let's say if i tap on yes um, it'll take all of the support members that are in your various teams um, it would give me a list of their numbers and as you can see these are the list of members who can provide support to me um, and if it's really serious we have the emergency services or even lifeline australia online so your team leader would log this or, or a colleague would would note this and then action is in place. Yes, so I would be able to uh, call them yeah. and they would be able to respond to my request. I or someone else who's emotional first responder would get in touch with them. We would find out how serious that problem is. We'd give him the space to explore that and we would make a plan for his well-being to go forward. It might involve professional supports. It might involve a short-term adjustment. It's gonna depend on what's going on for Kevin but we're gonna make sure that we stay connected with him so he's, he's feeling better. The app is a tool, you know, it's great for awareness, it's great to promote these kind of conversations where the magic really happens is when people connect, you know, and that happens face to face. So it's about supportive listening and helping people move through uh, difficulties to a place where they can take action uh, and support their own mental health. So you're just training people to help colleagues? Absolutely, yeah. These are the kind of listening skills that create space and create awareness and create choice. Uh, we definitely recommend professional help, but they're the things that we could all be better at. Just explain to me some of the emotions that sort of someone like you uh, went through with your type of work, with, with home pressures or whatever. Just paint a picture for me. Right, alrighty. So I had... I had a whole lot of like typically stressful things going on in my home life that made work harder. And that was right when I was starting out here too. So I started back in August. So using the app allows me to keep an eye on my emotions. It can be very easy sometimes to just not want to pay attention to it because it's hard sometimes to face how you're feeling. Um, but having that on the screen, I go, oh, I guess I am feeling strained today or I am feeling, you know, just not really feeling great. And I can put that down, I can be more aware of it. And especially after a few days, if I'm doing that repeatedly, I go, oh, I should probably reach out to someone. And then I can with the app, it's really easy. Emotional Pulse, it's not just about businesses. Sharnika here, you look after young adults. In fact, medical students are using it. Yeah, so I run an organization called Med With Purpose and we support students in high school who are applying to become medical students and we help them through that process. So Emotional Pulse has been fantastic for us. It's really helped us give our students an opportunity to check in their emotional state every single day and does it with privacy, it maintains their anonymity. It's allowed them to invite that support in in a really trusted way whilst maintaining that privacy that you know, students really need as well. We wanted to make mental health accessible to everybody. So it's a completely free app. Uh, as an organisation, if you use it to sort of make sure the mental health of your team's healthier and higher performing, then we use the revenue and we make it cheaper than a cup of coffee per person per month. But that revenue goes to support mental health programs for the community. 
good mental health equals good productivity, but it's more than that, isn't it? Absolutely. No one wants to lose anyone and everyone loves someone. So to create a good support network is the key strategy to preventing anyone from taking their lives unnecessarily. The research shows us that leaders in 70% of workplaces have little to no clarity about the emotional state of their teams. Yeah. Uh, and emotional pulse is really to mental health what the seatbelt is to road safety. Yeah, right. Now, really, help is, is in your hand.